And oh, Rob, if there was ever, if if you had to pick one story that is that it, that was coming into being to justify me having this show at all, it is this story. Gosh, you know, when I first heard this, let me just preface this, John, by saying I I was imagining you busting out those dance moves you told us about that we haven't ever seen because the videotapes have never been shown. But I, I just want to imagine that you were dancing around your house. Oh, I'm excited just thinking about it that we're going to talk about it right now. Let's let's get into the topic here. This one comes into us from our friend Pelican Mike, who writes in. This is the most John Campion news story I've ever heard since FX developing a Shogun series. Henry Cavill will star in the reboot of The Highlander. This project has been in development for so long with several actors and directors attached, including Ryan Reynolds, for a number of years, by the way, Ryan Reynolds was attached to this. But there can be only one. There, not, you accidentally wrote there can only be one. The saying is actually there can be only one. Anyway, there can be only one. And that man is Superman himself. John, the floor is yours. What are your thoughts? Okay, let me preface this with a couple of things here that you got to understand. Number one, I'm a big Henry Cavill. I've got a bro crush on this dude. Like, like I just love Henry Cavill. I've liked him ever since I saw him in the Tudors. I thought he was terrific in that. And then he had become my favorite Superman of all time. Henry Cavill's, I got, I got my Henry Cavill. You can just see a bit of him right here, but I got my Henry Cavill sta standing over here overseeing the thing. He's my favorite Superman of all time. I loved him in The Witcher. I loved him in uh, The Man from Uncle. I just like what this guy does. I just think he's a terrific performer. I love seeing him on screen, um, all that kind of stuff. So I got a bit of a bro crush on Henry Cavill. I, I admit that I do. But the second thing you got to understand for points of context, Rob, is that I, in my top 10 list of my all-time favorite movies, not everybody has my same top 10, but when I list off my top 10, everybody goes, oh yeah, that one's great, yeah, that one's great. But the one that always surprises people when I mention it in my top 10 <laughs> is the original Christopher Lambert, Sean Connery film, uh, Clancy Brown classic, The Highlander. It is in my top 10 all-time favorite movies. You know? It's better to burn out than to fade away. I love this movie. You're standing on holy ground, Rob. Highlander is a movie I love. I love passionately. Now, recently, uh, Stileski, one of the directors of John Wick, came on board. And he, for about three or four years ago, he said he was coming on board. He was going to direct a reboot. Okay, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Well, something happened now. Henry Cavill is going to star... And my mind is losing it. My mind is completely losing it. I got one of my favorite movie stars appearing in one of my favorite properties. Now, listen, I didn't like anything else with the Highlander. All the other Highlander movies completely sucked ass. I I, I appreciated the TV series with uh, it wasn't Connor McLeod, but they made a Duncan McLeod, his cousin with uh, I forget the actor's name, something Paul. I can't remember his name, but something Paul was the actor who played Duncan McLeod. And, um, you know, all like I, so that's fine. But that first Highlander movie has always, always had such a special place in my heart, whether it's the, the, the queen soundtrack, just the mythology of it. It was one of just the most creative things that I ever seen when I was a kid and I'm watching this thing and I was enamored with it. The whole idea, Rob, of this race of immortals that are destined to battle and fight throughout the ages until there is only one left who will then receive the prize that they don't even know what it is. All they know <laughs> is that inherently they will feel a, a natural instinctive draw to a place far away at some point in history where all the immortals in the world will come together and they're going to fight until there is only one. There can be only one. This whole mythology of it is so incredible. You take that, you add one of my favorite movie stars. Dude, I found this out Friday after we finished the John Campion show. And I was just like, Beside, if I didn't have things I had to run and do, I just would have done a special live video talking about this. I am beside myself with excitement. Number one, just that the Highlander reboot is keep moving. I love the director who's attached, but now you're putting in Henry Cavill. Anyway, this comes to us from the folks 
uh, over uh, with, uh, Henry Cavill was doing an interview and he talked about this. He said the following. I've been a fan of Highlander. He put this up on his social media. I've been a fan of the Highlander series since I was a lad, says uh, Henry Cavill. From the movies and all of their 80s, Queen slathered glory to the TV show with an actor who looked remarkably like one of my brothers. Being sh being not shy uh, with swords and having a director as talented as Chad Stolisky at the helm, this is an opportunity like no other. Deep dive into franchise storytelling with all of the tools at our disposal is going to make this an adventure I and hopefully all of you shall never forget and that of course comes to us from Henry Cavill Rob we have known from you know finding out he got to play Superman while he was playing World of Warcraft to that computer building video that he put up a few months ago that completely broke the internet uh, with him just building his own gaming computer. We know this guy is a geek at heart. We know Cavill is a total geek at heart. I didn't know he shared my love of the Highlander. <laughs> and to have kal -El, Superman himself, playing... I, I'm going to assume he's going to be playing the Connor McCloud version. There's not a lot of details out best. For all we know, maybe he's playing a Duncan McCloud. Maybe they're doing something different. But I, for now, I'm just going to assume they're just kind of rebooting the story. It's going to be He's going to play Connor McCloud. I am I am beside myself. That brings up a couple big questions for me. Number one, who you who do you cast as Ramirez, the character played by Sean Connery? Uh, who do you get to come in and play that? That's going to be interesting. Number two, who do you get to play the Kurgan? Because that one, Kurgan, played by the great Clancy Brown, that is a tough one to recast. I would propose even tougher to recast than the Sean Connery's Ramirez. I think a lot of guys you could bring in to play Ramirez and maybe play them really well. Maybe a Pedro Pascal or something like that. I don't know, but... Whatever. Henry Cavill's in the Highlander, Rob. It's a damn good day. Anyway, Rob, you saw this. What do you think? Well, you know, I mean, I think it, it's funny. I recently rewatched Highlander, and it's still a it's a very fun movie. I mean, it's very 80s, and I I it's a, it's I really like watching it. And, you know, there's a lot of elements to it that make it unique. One, of course, being the Queen score and the the music video aesthetic that only could have come out of the mid eighties when it, it was, it was made. And I'm curious, you know, are, would they, it, it's very much a product of its time. And yes, it I is wonder, very much. You yes. know, if they play it, if they play it straight, straighter, meaning when I say straight, I, I, I mean, less music video, more traditionally sweeping fantasy epic wise. I don't know how that's going to work. And I'm very curious to see what their approach is, because if they take like a game of Thrones approach or a Lord of the Rings approach or something, I mean, I think they're going to need to have those collisions of, you know, the transitions between one era to another in Highlander were so well done. They're so yes, fun. They were, yeah. They're, it, it's just, it, it, it was a heightened sense of reality, but I mean, would they use a pop music store score? Like, would they get a modern band to come in and score the movie? I hope not. I mean, I, I, I mean, again, but if they just make it a tr traditional fantasy story, would it be as fun? I mean, I really think that whoever makes this movie has their work cut out for them because there's a number of different ways to go with it. And I'm just curious to see which way they're going to go. Either way, I think, you know what? If Warner Brothers isn't going to put Henry Cavill back as Superman anytime soon, Lionsgate's like, well, we know what we'll do with him. So <laughs> there you go. By the way, I was just bringing up who do you get to play uh, Ramirez, right? Uh, and I mentioned Peter Pascal. The thing is, Peter Pascal might be a little bit young for that role. Uh, Trajanus in the live chat put out a perfect name. Antonio Banderas. Dude, I was thinking that too. I'm like, yeah. Antonio Banderas could totally do that role. I I'm all I'm there for it. I'm totally down for that. Oh, and Rick Elder just put in the live chat as well for Kurgan. What about a Dave Batista? Yeah. As Kurgan. That that's a that's a good that would be a great role for Dave. For that. That would be fantastic for anyway. I I don't know if you can tell, but I'm pretty damn happy and excited about this. Henry Cavill, our Cal Lau, playing the Highlander. I love it. Guys, question is for you. 
What do you think about this? I'm betting a lot of you guys have never even had the chance to watch the original Highlander. I mean, it's, it's an older one. I saw it when I was just a kid originally. Probably a lot of you haven't even seen it. Anyway, if you have, what do you think about the addition of Henry Cavill? Are you as geeked out about it as me? Do you not really care? I don't know. What do you guys think about it? Jump into the comments section below and let me know your thoughts. Okay, guys.